Today I am going to talk about having gay parents and I know some of you are like oh what they're lesbian because they're women. You can call women gay as well. Yes you can say gay it's not offensive or it might be offensive to some people but as you guys know I'm obviously adopted so that's not a big shock for you guys. The main lifestyle difference I have I guess is having gay parents but I really don't see a big difference in it because it's just what I know it's what I've grown up with it's kind of like if you grew up with red hair you wouldn't picture yourself any other way I'm gonna try to address some things that like people always ask me you know I'm not really going to talk about the adoption side because that's gonna be another video so if you want an adoption video give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below and let me know because I would be happy to do an adoption story for you guys but I got really inspired to make this video from another YouTuber. I'll leave the link to her video down below because she also made a video about growing up with gay moms and I think that that was, it was interesting to see from another point of view. There's not a lot of people who can relate to me in a sense and if I could be someone to give some tips or advice to or I don't know, if people are just nosy, I will be able to provide you with some information and some insight. So I guess I'll just start off by saying, yes, I have two moms. They are Caucasian, white, American, Sherry and Valerie, and they're awesome. They're like my friends. Um, I can literally talk to them about anything. I do feel comfortable with that. I feel that we have like a really good relationship. There's always a good balance in the household by certain personalities. I remember um, the video that I watched, she was saying how she like wanted someone to like braid her hair. Sherry did my hair because I was in dance, so like I always needed my hair done. I guess basically what I'm trying to say is both of my parents provided what I needed and they still do. They're a very good balance. Um, I don't feel like I've missed out on anything. A lot of the times I feel like I have a better scenario than some people because some of my friends with straight parents, like, they're either divorced or they had, like, marital issues or something like that. And I can proudly say that my parents have been together for 30 years. Well, okay, I'm gonna cut that to 29. But still, basically, rounding up, 30 years and they have a very strong relationship. I hope to have as good of a relationship as them because I feel like they set a really good example. They have good moral standards and they're good people. So, I mean, comparing my life to, per se, like somebody else's, I would not see that I'm missing out on anything. Also in the video, the girl talked about feeling like she was missing that father figure or something. I don't know if she said that. I don't, I don't know, don't quote me. But I honestly don't feel like I've missed out on a father figure because my grandpa was like so close to me and I miss him a lot. I don't know why, I just got kind of emotional there. That part of my life didn't really like change at all. That's not something that I really had to miss out on. Breaking the news to my friends or telling my friends that I had gay moms. It was kind of like weird because I didn't really know anyone else in my scenario or in my place. Like I didn't really know a lot of families with two parents that are same sex because I'm 20 and like that's not very common back then but it is now which is awesome because it's getting more accepted which I feel is great because you don't want to ever feel like you're hiding something and I never hid anything from my friends, from anyone I met. I kind of had the slogan of saying when I first met somebody, Hi, I'm Alex, I'm Chinese, and I'm adopted, and I have two gay moms. Like, I would always tell someone that because if they had a problem with me from up front, I knew that that person was not meant for me and that they just had to, you know, scoot to the side because if they didn't accept that or accept my family, then they don't really need to be a part of my life. And I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not everybody's cup of tea and that's fine. Um, I, I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. A lot of my friends didn't have a big problem with my lifestyle or my parents being gay. Um, I am very blessed and grateful to have lived in a more liberal and like more accepting area. Maybe if I still lived in Ohio, it would be different. I don't know, 
because I didn't live that life. But other than that, like, I feel like my friends actually really loved my parents. Some of my friends I felt like even liked my parents more than they liked me because their personalities and everything are just like so like, you know, vibrant and full of life, you know. So I never really had a big problem with people like not wanting to be my friend because my parents were gay. There was a few times in, let's say, I think it was like 5th or 6th grade, this one girl was becoming friends with one of my good friends and she was like don't hang out with her because her parents are weird but that's like the most hate i've gotten on this subject which surprises me greatly because i always have thought and i've always like kept it in the back of my mind like you might get hate for this it's not normal it's not normal i don't know so many times i feel like straight families or straight families i feel so like divisional um i feel that like people or families with a traditional, you know, mom, dad, child, I feel like that template breaks up a lot easier nowadays, which actually makes me scared because I'm straight, if you didn't know. I just wanted to put that out there because I know that some people think that like if somebody has gay parents they could make their kid gay or lesbian or whatnot. That is not the case. You are simply born with it. I can tell you this from first-hand experience. Well not first-hand, maybe second-hand. My parents did not choose to be gay. You don't choose to be anything because I don't think that like my parents would choose a hard lifestyle and to choose to be a minority when, you know, you can get so much hate for it, when you can, like, you know, have certain family members turn their backs on you because they don't agree with it. Um, I don't think people would want to choose that. You can disagree with me all you want. That is totally fine. I am giving you from what I know, and I, trust me, I know a lot about this because I live with my gay parents that they did not choose that lifestyle. It just, it's them, it's who they are. It's like being born with tiny little eyes like this, you know? It's kind of just like in their DNA. I believe it's hereditary, it's just like a gene, you know? You're just born with it, and that's how it is. Surprisingly, the YouTube community has been great as well. You guys love seeing my parents in the vlogs, and I think that's amazing. I'm really just making this video to give out and share my message with the world because it's not very common to hear a 20 year old today talking about growing up with gay parents so that's why i kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about this i don't know i feel like i want to ask do you have any questions if you do leave them in the comments down below i've also read in some of the comments why does she call her parents by their first names the reason why is because if i said mom or mommy they would like both look over because you know so obviously, um, I used to call them Mom and Mimi when I was like little, but then I became like 10 or I don't know how old I was. I was still pretty young, but I'm like, this is getting too immature. So I was just like, I'm just gonna call you Sherry and Valerie. So that's how that played out. Yes, we all live together. I don't know, that's kind of self-explanatory if you guys watch my vlogs, but you know, some of you might be stumbling upon this video and are like, do they live together? Yes, we all live together. Actually, I'm gonna tell the story just because. I liked this guy in high school for so long, like almost like three years, okay? Like consistently, okay? And I liked him and liked him and liked him. And the day that I found out that he was not in support of gay marriage, I didn't like him anymore. I just find that story to be so funny. Sometimes I think they're more girly than me at times because they like makeup and stuff. Well, they don't love makeup, but like they wear makeup more than I do. <laughs> so I joke around a lot about that. I guess one thing I can say, they don't really like to shop, you know, like I would like to shop. But that's fine because like my aunt, like we always shop together. I mean, I have friends that I go shopping with. Shoot, I'll just shop by myself. So, I mean, that's not really like a big deal to me. But other than that, I have two parents that love me unconditionally that have been stable and, you know, have provided a very, very nice life for me. Um, I'm very, very grateful. I just want to put out there that two people of the same sex can raise a child successfully 
and their kid is not gonna just turn gay because they're gay. I just wanted to make this video to tell my story, tell my side of things. Everybody's story, experience is going to be different. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you guys real soon. So, bye! If I could take you up in boom, 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 boom,